Greetings and God bless you. We are just about to begin the lesson with our Kenya Children's Great Home. And today is lesson 16. It is September 30th. I pray that you are blessed as we share with the children. God bless. God bless you all. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, we can hear you. Wonderful. And Pastor Williams is coming in now. All right, there we are. Here we are together again. Yes. Praise God. Amen. So good to see everyone. It, good to it was, see you too. Indeed. It was a bit different, uh, not, not having the lesson. It, it was kind of strange. <laughs> yes, yes. And so we are glad, glad to be together. Amen. God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen. Now we've got the home. I don't know if Lenkai, they're coming. So I think we should start. Yes. Yep. So, yes. as always, Pastor Williams, the floor is yours until. Thank you so much, Pastor Maria. It's good to see you again. Good to see the home, Paul, and the rest of all of you. Uh, indeed, last week we missed everyone. And we missed this wonderful and, uh, and God-given opportunity, but all worked for good to all of us that love Jesus Christ. So, Amen. that was much of the time i would want to begin with prayers and then uh, i will let the home to carry on and then our pastor maria will finish up with everything so let us bow our heads in humility and ask god to guide today's session let us pray heavenly father from your throne of grace we come before you are your feet we come before your throne of mercy we thank you for this wonderful day we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have granted us as your children to be united to be gathered here as your chosen generation to stand in the gap for such a time as this i pray for the children that um, we are taking time to present them to you, Lord, that you will mold them to be vessels, to be people that you have intended them to be to your glory. I'm praying for our dear Pastor Maria as she continue to be available on these meetings, Lord. May you anoint her with special anointing. May you grant her favor that, Lord, everything that she will impact on these young ones will go a long way in their lives. I pray for Pastor John and Mama Mary and Paul as they continue to give their lives towards serving these young ones, Lord. You're going to stand for them and give them a divine favor, grace that knows no protocol. I pray, Lord, that you will guide us. And it is in Jesus' name that I do pray and believe. Let us all say amen. 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 Thank you. Paul, you can now take on. Yes. Thank you. So uh, thank you very much, Pastor William. And uh, thank you very much also, Pastor Maria. Uh, we are good and we are happy. And we thank God for everything. Uh, despite the challenges in between, God has always been faithful to us. He has always been with us. And we thank God for everything, for every opportunity, every circumstance. We always thank God. So for today, we've been a bit busy uh, trying to like uh, make the, the boys' dome, the, the, the water, we're making a, a place for the tank just behind. And yeah, we've been a bit busy. And uh, it was good. And it was, a, it was a good day. And we also thank God for that. So God has been faithful to us. He has been good. He's been kind. 
and we thank him and we give glory and honor unto his holy name. So for today, we're going to, uh, to say the poem and then I'm going to introduce five people. Good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. And then I'm going to introduce five people to you. So the first person is going to introduce himself, this young man here. My name is Peterson. So he is Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. All right. Hi, Peterson. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so he is Peterson. And then we meet the next young girl here by the name Agnes. Oh, she's going to introduce herself. My name's Agnes. So she's Agnes. Agnes. Hello to you, Agnes. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Next person. So can you see this young man here? Yes. Robert? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. Oh, a lovely name. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so next person. My can name you? is Jane. Can you hear? Did, did you say Jane? Jennifer. Jennifer? Yes. Did I get that right, Jennifer? Yeah. Yes. Oh, one of my favorite names. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Agnes. She's Agnes. Uh, Agnes? Agnes. Say that again, Paul. Yeah, Agnes, like the other one. Oh, two Agnes, another Agnes. Agnes. A, G, oh. yeah, yeah. Like a seer. Hi, Agnes. Hello. I see you waving. <laughs> wow, good to meet you all. Yep. Good so to meet you. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. And thank you to the children. And so today I've met Peterson, Agnes, Emmanuel, Jennifer, and another Agnes. And it is wonderful to meet, to meet each of you. And let me say, children, you are saying that poem better and better. So I just want to say well done today on the poem. Well done. Very good. Keep it up. I'm glad to be with you today. Last week we had a family um, occasion where that I had to attend and I missed you all and I'm glad to be back here with you. Now Paul, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to give the lesson and then we will have a prayer after the lesson. So, the lesson today is entitled, I am valuable. I am valuable. So, let us begin. I just have to get out some things. Of course, you know, I've been to Kenya four times. And God okay. willing, I look forward to seeing you all next year. In any case, one of the things I have from your country, your land, is you can see that? What's that? 100 shillings. Yeah. Kenyan money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I brought some back I, from your country. So I'll bring it back when I come. Now, let's just use these, this here. So you've got the money. 
okay? Now, I think Paul said it. Let's see, how much is this, Paul? Uh, 50. That's 50. That's 50. So this is worth 50. Okay, let's see. Suppose I do this. How much is it worth now? 50. It's still worth 50. Hmm. So that tells me that whether the money is neat, beautiful looking, or crumpled up, it still has the same value. And I need you to understand, boys and girls, that God made you in his own image. God made you in his likeness. He made you in his image. He made me in his image. In Genesis 1.27, it says this, so God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. And that means that God has placed in you and me value. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you are valuable. Let me tell you something else, boys and girls. It doesn't matter whether you grow up in a castle or a palace or whether you are in a lovely children's home, God has placed value in you. And so sometimes in life, we can make mistakes. Boys and girls, once in a while, you may do something that's wrong. And Mom Mary, Father John, or Uncle Paul may have to correct you, discipline you. It does not change your value. And what we have to understand is that God said in his word in Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So this is what I need you to know, that even when you fall short, make a mistake, it seems like you just crumbled up something. It does not mean you cannot get back to being valuable once again. Boys and girls, even when you go wrong and make a mistake, this is what you may look like. But God said he made you in his image. And what we have to do when we make a mistake is we have to go to God and say, God, make me over. God, forgive me for what I did wrong. When you do that, you can walk in the value that God has given you. You are valuable. Listen, I want to read this. Romans 5 and 8. It reminds us that, but God demonstrated his love, his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know why Jesus Christ died for you and why Jesus Christ died for me? Because we're valuable. You mean a lot to God. You mean a lot to your friends, to your family, to your community. You are valuable. It is my hope and my prayer that if anyone 
tries to make you feel small, that you remember God values you. You are great in the sight of God. So I want you to repeat this after me. I am valuable to God. You say it. I am valuable to God. I am valuable to God. That's right. That's right. You mean something. You mean a lot. And so never look at yourself and be sad. No. You say, God, you love me. God, you made me in your image. God, I am valuable to you. And when you know that, it makes you more confident. And you know that God <clears throat> is helping you every day. And children, that's what I want you to know today. So remember, whether life is going easy or you're experiencing a challenge, you still have the same value. You are valuable. And with that in mind, let me pray for you now. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we approach your throne room in glory. Thank you, God, that we can call you Abba, Father, Daddy, Daddy. God, you watch over us. You care for us. And God, we are so glad that when we miss it, when we make a mistake, that we can approach you and you will forgive us because you love us and we are made in your image. So I thank you for every boy and every girl and that their life is so precious. And I pray God that you will remind them so that they have the confidence they need each day and they smile more and they're just more so happy because of the love of Jesus and God's care. We continue to thank you for John, for my Marian, Father John, for Paul, for Paul, and how they watch over the children. And we pray your continual blessings upon them. We thank you for our Pastor Williams and how he continues to labor in this field and watch over this ministry. God, you get the glory out of everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone says, Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Pastor Maria. To God be the glory. Yes, it is true. Romans 5, 8. But while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Very valuable lesson. Yes, I am valuable. The children are valuable. We are all valuable. So thank you so much. Uh, this juncture, I just want to give to Paul to say something a little. Then, Pastor Maria, you'll close for everything. So, Paul, uh, please say something. I can say that I have, I have no much to say. Only like, like to give thanks to God and uh, to appreciate so much to, to you, both of you, Pastor Maria and Pastor William. You've been of help to us. You've been of uh, guidance. And in fact, you've, you have much importance to this home. So Pastor William, I can testify that you've always been sacrificing yourself in one way or another. And may God bless you so much. Pastor, uh, Pastor Maria also, God bless you, and, and God bless you so much. So I have, I have no much to say and no much to add. So all I can say is that have a nice time and may God bless you so, so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brother Paul. And you never have to say that you don't have much to say. Little yeah. is much when yeah. God is in it. <laughs> and yeah. every word is invaluable and we appreciate it. 
And so at this time, uh, I'm going to close this out in prayer. And again, just so thankful to God for relationship and the family feel, family. And I look forward to seeing you all, God willing, next year and be able to teach right there and sing with you and, and, and just be able to pour into your hearts all the more right there. It, I'm really, I don't want to talk about it too much because I've got time. I have to pace myself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, Amen. let's close out in prayer. Let's pray. Father God, again, God, we just thank you. God, there is no love greater than the love, God, that you have for us. And so now, God, we can love you mm -hmm. because you loved us and you gave your son, Jesus, to die on a cross for our sins. That's love. And because of that, Paul, John, Mary, love the children. Pastor Williams loves the children. I love the children. It's because of your love, God. And God, I ask that you'll continue to sustain this home, continue to grow them, God, continue to help them as they build the dormitory and what they're going to do, even in the future. Thank you, God. God, I pray that you will continue to remind the children that you wanted them born. You wanted them in this family because they are special. God, we will continue to worship you and to honor you in all that we do so that your name gets all glory, all honor, and all praise. In Jesus' name we pray, and everyone says, Amen. 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 So God bless everyone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And God willing, we'll see you next week. Next week. Thank you, Pastor Maria. Be good, children. Bye. Bye. Love you all. And send me a picture. Don't forget, send the picture of okay. my new five little ones. Okay. All right. Okay. Love you, much. I won't forget that. See you. Take care. <laughs> Take care. That was good time, too. Good stuff. <laughs> all right. We just finished talking. Uh, given the lesson um, to the children. And it's certainly a universal lesson, you know, that no matter what you may go through in life, sometimes feel like, you know, God handed you a raw deal. No, it's just the crumpled up aspect of life. And when we trust God and love him above all, he'll straighten things out. And you'll see more clearly that your value never changed in spite of the changes that you went through. So thanks again for joining us. As always, I encourage you that if you have a heart towards children's ministry, well, we're looking now at another 13 months, God willing, and then we'll be right there with those children, um, singing with them, recording with them, what have you, and we'll get to see them up close and personal. If you would like to be a part of this ministry in any way, please reach out to me and um, we'll make that connection. And as always, I thank God for those who have done so. Amen. Thanks again for tuning in. Blessings abound.